Okay, so it's like 7.30, 7.40. My first class is at nine. My goal is to head to the gym, then take a shower, get some food before I leave, and have a good start to a productive day. Okay, so I'm headed to the gym, which is like underground. It's like really rainy and bleak and cold. That's okay. I'm really happy that I got up early, but at the same time, it's hard to be optimistic in bad weather. I'm gonna be smiling anyways. So this is the underground part of Elliot. If you're a senior, you get to leave something on this wall. People leave things like minions, quotes in different languages, paintings, drawings because there's so much left over the years. People literally paint over each other, which is kind of hilarious, but sad. So what's really particular about my house is that we have an underground uh, tunnel system and every house is accommodated with different facilities like gyms. And this is the gym that's in my house, which is in proximity to where I am. So it's a lot easier to motivate myself to get up in the morning and go running and use a lot of the different equipment that they have in the gym. I've started getting serious about it this semester and I think it's really good for my mental health to exercise in the morning and get that oxygen through my brain. This is a little tour of what it looks like and it's kind of cool that the mats that they have are also color coordinated. The goal is to go back to my dorm, take a shower, get changed, get something quick to eat, run to my class. Ideally I would have gotten up at seven, but whatever, it's fine. All right. Looking fresh, like a cherry tomato. All right, so the fit today is gonna be this white turtleneck, these jeans, and I'm probably just gonna do my hair up because that's what I do. I'm not very creative, but it's cold. And genuinely, I don't really think anyone gives about what we're wearing first day. I think everyone's kind of like waking up from break, so. Yeah, the first class is gonna be gods, heroes, and monsters. It's basically talking about like Greek mythology and the eternal relevance of using these myths in our everyday culture and how they pervade into media and our stories that we tell today. Very fascinating. Yeah, and we'll see what lecture's like. It is 8.40, I have about 10 minutes to get ready. And then at 8.50 I'm heading off to my class. So I'm gonna make some food, make a little matcha, and then I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth. Guys, I've only started getting up early this semester. This very first day. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna be lying and say I haven't gone up at like 9 or 9.30 all of last semester. It would be disingenuous for me to say that, so I'm gonna tell you the truth. I just started getting up at 7.30. We're gonna do some quick skincare. I'm using Clinique Moisture Surge. I'm going to use the, the sunscreen lotion that Everyday Human sent me for like, sunblock. I always put on sunscreen. Never go without sunscreen. Okay, this is my final fit check. I'm having these eggs that I heated up and a quick matcha that I made. And I have to run because I'm going to be really late. But it's also a period where we are getting a lot of our myths solidified in the terms of their visual appearance and in the terms of the, the stories that are going to get passed down as kind of future visual versions. After I need Venus, share a sphere of influence in both of these mythologies as the goddess of love, of sex, and beauty. Now, love, sex, and beauty are highly culturally contingent concepts, and the properties that they inhabit, properties overseen by their patron deity, like Aphrodite or Venus, are key to the attitudes and habits and values that sex, love, and beauty trigger in the populations that worship them. Oh, every time I love this school, Simultaneous question because it is freezing. Heading to Chinese right now. It's kind of raining. We'll see how cold it gets later on in the day. So I've been really devoted. And this is the fourth Chinese class that I've taken at Harvard. And this weather never gets easier. I never get used to it. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to it. To those who are new to my channel, I'm from California, Southern California to be specific. So that's why I live and breathe the sunshine. I love Harvard, but not this weather. For the Chinese Lunar New Year, the year of the rabbit, Chinese teachers put up all these decorations outside of the Chinese department classrooms. We just finished with Chinese class. And my goal is to go back to Elliot, eat some lunch before I go off to my psych class. Hopefully I'm gonna get some readings done. Let me clean my room a little. 
Okay, so this is lunch. This is Korean BBQ chicken with rice, broccoli, um, some sp spicy cauliflower, some couscous, cranberries, yogurt, a brownie, and then water. This is the dining hall. <laughs> Just finished lunch. I have about, I want to say, 15 minutes before my psychology class. So I'm going to go upstairs, do my daily Duolingo Italian practice. I'll come back, do some Spanish, and then I have to buy my book for my Chinese class. Okay, so I've highlighted these things, and then we're going to do, we're going to skip all this, and we're just going to go to um, Italian. Okay, let's do this thing. La giacca rosa costa 50 euro. The red jacket costs... 50. Buongiorno. Ecco il tavolo. Il cappello rosso costa 10 euro. Il cappello rosso costa 10 euro. This is so sad. Look at this. I used to be number one and now I'm number 27. Are you kidding me? I have to be, I have to be back at number one. This is absolutely un unacceptable. Voglio mangiare questa, questa pizzeria questo. questo fine settimana. Zaino piccolo. Laura, ti piace nu nuotare? Today is the day I would like to make a very historic announcement. Very historic, very historic. After just 19 minutes of doing Duolingo, I have officially ranked number one um no paparazzi please i don't want any cameras on me i never asked for the superstar life the superstar life just chose me please 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 it's snowing so hard oh my god it feels like a million tiny pebbles struck your face I'm headed over to the harvard yenching library to take my east asian studies sophomore tutorial class that was a mouthful this library has 1.5 million volumes of East Asian literature, the largest collection outside of East Asia, which is very, very cool. And as soon as I left my intro class, it started snowing profusely, but it was very cool to see. Okay, I was in class for maybe like an hour. It already started snowing. It's a winter wonderland or hell land, however you perceive it. This is why I love Harvard. This is why I came to Harvard. These turkeys standing outside in the snow outside the Science Center are such a mood. They're, they're you know what, they're just, they're just my vibe. They're quite literally my spirit animals. Um, look at them turkeying away, doing their thing in the snow. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's about here. This is the John Harvard statue covered in snow. I thought this was a really picturesque shot. All right. This is, uh, interesting. That was so intense. Just got back home. I believe I'm gonna clean my dorm and then I'm going to do some readings. Work on some projects. Actually, I'm not using the word work anymore. I'm using, um, projects, so I'm gonna advance on some projects. Make progress seems more... I just don't like the W word. I, I just want to eliminate it from my vocabulary. I just... it's it sounds displeasing to me. So I'm gonna put my hair up, and then we're gonna clean this room. I don't know if anyone else has this thing where they feel like they cannot work in a messy space. I think your space is reflective of your mind, and they kind of create this feedback loop of clean space, clean mind, clean mind, clean space. The best investment you should make is a vacuum cleaner. Guys, I just found out from my mom that I got, I got selected for jury duty today. <laughs> How, no one my, I don't know anyone my age who's ever done jury duty. Why me of all people? I'm not becoming a lawyer, like girl, what is this? So I changed into something more comfortable. It's really warm indoors, so I don't really need a turtleneck. Um, I recently got my Chinese book and we are really starting strong. I have a, a homework assignment due on Sunday and it's like a full page packet, I think three page packet. So I have to review less than 1.1 tonight. I'm gonna spend about 45 minutes reading it, understanding the vocabulary. We don't have any quizzes this week, but that doesn't negate the fact that I still have to learn it. Um, I think the first chapter is aesthetics and attractiveness for Chinese. And then for my East Asian studies class, I'm going to be reading about the notions of Orientalism from the Western perspectives of Edward Said and Myth of Asia, and I'm going to be writing a response paper, and I'll read a bit of what I write. Um, I first got to read these packets, and then I'll let you guys know what I think.
So it was specifically talking about how we have a lot of the wrong notions of East versus West and how Orientalism has pervaded into our Western culture and how we have to dismantle it, actually. Guys, I kid you not, I'm reading my text on Orientalism and it goes, there has been no escaping the additional historical detail that Euripides was surely affected by the new aspect that the Dianas, the Dionysiac cults must have assumed in the light of the foreign ecstatic religions of Bendis Sibel. Guys, it's not even spelled differently. That's, that's how you spell Sibel. Guys, I foreign ecstat- I'm a religion, guys. I'm literally a religion. That That is quite astonishing. I'm gonna retire from school and become the leader of a religion. Um, this thing was nice while it lasted, but I think we all know where I belong. I'm trying so hard to plan my schedule for the next day, but my neighbors are so freaking loud, and I keep telling them to turn it down, but they won't, but they won't. So I'm making a to-do list. It's 10.37. My goal is to be in bed by 11. I think I'm gonna take like a little quick shower. It's just, okay. So I'm taking two melatonin gummies. Um, it's just this brand, but you know what? I'm gonna optimize every other part of my life. I gotta optimize my sleep. My life is a movie. Sometimes I feel in the best and worst ways, but mostly for the best. I'm gonna be doing about um, 25 minutes of Spanish before I head to bed. It's 10.50 p.m. I just made all the lights in my room red because that helps produce melatonin. I've also dimmed this lamp here so that the intensity of this light exposure doesn't actually cause my um, inability to sleep. I've taken my melatonin pills and I'm going to dim the lights more so that I just have the computer screen. I'm wearing my blue lens protecting glasses as well to prevent that. Camiseta. Me interesa mucho. Me interesa mucho Duolingo. Me interesa ese chico. I'm interested in this boy. No, in that, oh, it's in that boy, in this boy. Este means that, okay. A ti te interesa viajar en verano, pero a tus amigos les interesa viajar en invierno. A ti te interesa esta exhibición de arte. Nos interesa tu pregunta, Juan. We are interested in your question, Juan. Man, I feel, I think in terms of like learning a language, it's really the small errors that you make that can distinguish whether you're a native speaker or not. And half the battle is trying to eliminate those errors because I think at one point you can learn all the rules and whatnot, but it has to become in like intuitive that somebody could wake you up at two or 3 a.m. and you could wake up and you could say the right grammatical form of the sentence. So I am done with my Spanish for the night. I'm gonna get changed into my pajamas and then I'm, I can feel this melatonin stuff kicking in. So first things first, I'm gonna pack my bag for tomorrow, which means my Chinese book and then getting my stuff ready to film content tomorrow for a brand that I'm working with. I'm gonna wash my face, I'm gonna do my daily gratitude, my daily reading. I'm gonna put my to-do list by my bedside with a highlighter so that I can cross it all off. You know, I think the most rewarding part about like waking up early or just these little habits that I'm starting to develop is that it's not that like you feel like you're getting more out of your day. It's that you feel like you're getting more out of your life because you're able to discipline yourself to do things and you feel great after completing them and you can make more use of the time that you have on this earth and you can have more time for spontaneity because you've already processed the things that you have to do so now you can do the things that you necessarily want to do. I'm going in with a set of fill cleanser. I, oh my god. <laughs> it just spilled everywhere. Um, I'd like to alternate the two. My eye doctor said I had inflammation. What I have to do is I have to take antimicrobial linen lash solution, hypochlorous acid, and I have to take a cotton wipe and wipe down my eye. So basically I dampen the cotton wipe like such. Just to reduce inflammation in the eye. And then you wipe it in a horizontal stroke on your top eyelid and then same way on your bottom eyelash. You can see some stuff is kind of yellowish. I don't know if that's just from like residue from your eye or sweat that's kind of compiled throughout the day. Throw it in the trash. Then I'm gonna put on my Egyptian magic. Put this on every night, every morning. It's, I think the trick for skincare is it's not about like the number of steps you do. 
It's about being consistent with a small number of steps in order to see results, right? Because if you're doing a bunch of steps, and let's say you have a skincare issue, right? It's going to be nearly impossible for you to isolate the variable, the singular variable, or if not, the mixture of multiple that causes your skin to have a breakout. I know that my skin is kind of rough right now because I recently went from really warm weather to really cold weather, and I think that was just very abrasive. It's a very abrasive environment for my skin, and so I'm trying to rehabilitate it given the uh, massive change in weather. And I can feel it's very bumpy on my skin. So then I'm gonna go in with a jade roller. I'm just gonna roll my skin upward. It's nice and soothing and cold. I'm just gonna do that multiple times. And I think it also brings your cheekbones up. I don't know if it does or if it gives you more of like a, what should we call it? It gives you more of a, gives you more definition. This is what I'm talking about, like the, the Bella Hadid look. This is my room. This is my um, gratitude journal. It says I got it monogrammed um, thanks to Papier, and they said like, "What do you want to put on it?" So I said, "Only one light, sea bell," and it's just there to remind me that we only get one shot at life, and there's no rehearsal, and to just live our life to the fullest and go after everything we want because there's no point in playing it small. So that's there as a constant reminder to me to never be scared to shoot after a big vision. Shy away from anything that I don't think I can accomplish because we can accomplish everything. Today, what am I grateful for? Let's say January 23rd. 1023 is my lucky number. I'm grateful for going to the HRDC common casting meeting. That was fun. Grateful that I got to eat good dining hall food. I'm grateful for the fact that I woke up early. That was a huge plus. Went to bed early. It's huge for me. I got one assignment done. I was able to do Spanish and Italian today. I worked out. Didn't waste money. Oh, speaking of money, I actually have to track my expenses on my expense tracker right now. I talked with my mother. I was able to talk with my friend Justin as well as Ella. I cleaned my room. I had some great Gouda cheese. That was really good. I got jury duty today maybe it's a sign of adulting all right that about does it i'm gonna meditate and then i'm gonna go to bed love y'all